Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your November 2016 tarot reading. <clears throat> I'm using a uh, different form uh, deck of cards this time and in the spirit of saving time I am, um, I've already pulled out the spread and I'm going to relay you know the initial messages for you and then go over the spread. So it's basically a different deck but the same um, format that I've been using in the past, okay? Uh, I'm doing this mainly because I'm feeling under the weather and I'm trying to keep the readings a little bit um, shorter without having to shuffle. So first of all, uh, one of the main messages that I'm seeing here is um, for some of you, I feel that you are interacting with a lot of um, either parents or couples. So you're, you're, you're dealing with people who are making decisions for other people and um, that's what I was getting. So... You could be a consultant and other people are coming to you and you're dishing out advice as to what they should do, how they should move forward. And I feel like, you know, what when they're there with you, they tell you, okay, yes, we'll implement your advice. But when they get home or when they go about their own lives, um, they don't really, I don't see any behavioral change on their ends. They might have the best intentions to try to uh, want to change, but I, I just don't feel it coming through. And I just feel like, you know, they, it's, um, it's like cheap talk. That's what it feels like to me where they, they don't really want to change. And it's just easier for them to just, uh, do things the way they've been doing. And then I feel like, you know, the week after they come back to you with the same problems. So I feel like you're, you're either consulting, you're either like doing some type of therapy. You're either like people are coming to you to seek your advice because they trust you. But I feel that um, whatever advice that you take, it's like it rolls off their back. And so one of the main thing for this month is um, try not to change other people, you know, uh, say what you need to say, like in terms of giving out advice. But the bottom line is that, you know, in the process of getting through life, in the process of going through the motions and to for others to sustain themselves, um, they they're not going to be able to implement your advice because um it, it's just not something they they value your advice don't get me wrong it's just not something that they're able to you know implement on a regular basis um but i do feel for those of you who are dealing with this you know like you're you're getting a little bit frustrated it's like you see the forest for the trees but the other people don't and um, you, you want them to see things from your perspective because you feel like it's going to make your life so much easier if you just see where I'm coming from, if you, if you just change this one minor thing about your life. But I, I just feel like they're in a position where they, they are too stressed out, they're too inundated with so many things and they can't really uh, take the advice to heart or at least, you know, carry it out, it out in their lives, okay? So that's what we're dealing with. Um, Lots of stubborn people. Um, I feel that towards the end of the month, um, you're going to be able to have some type of breakthrough. And I do feel that, you know, the other people you're dealing with, they're going to go through a period of reassessment. And they're going to uh, start to see, you know, the, those light bulbs start going off in their heads. They start to see the value in what you have said and the, the value in your counsel. And they're taking those first preliminary stages to um, do things and steer their lives in the right direction. Um, I see for some of you specifically, uh, you're dealing with, you know, I, I'm, I'm seeing a couple. So you might be a therapist and you're, they're coming to your office and they're just like, our kids are like this. And you're telling them, well, you need to do this with the kids. And then, you know, they, they don't. So I feel like towards the end of the month, uh, there's going to be some type of breakthrough where they're like, okay, they come back in and they're just like, you know, we tried what you said with the kids and it actually works. So I feel like, you know, that that's one example, but I feel like a majority of you are consultants and you're giving advice to people or groups of people and you're giving them, you know, valid tried and true advice. They, they just never got around to it and they're going to this month. Okay. What I'm also feeling as well is um, for those of you who are specifically like um, uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing it's almost like you're kind of like the, the mediator or the go between between people and children. So like uh, parents and children, uh, governmental institutions and children 
or even like the justice system in children. So there's something here about family, children, and just a lot of like um, uh, bureaucratic, you know, red tapes to get people where they're supposed to be or to alleviate situations regarding children. So I feel like you're working in, in that capacity and I feel that there are some frustrations coming through and things like that, okay? Um, I do feel overall it is going to be a very, very good month if you just... Um, let things ride out. Don't hold on too tightly to uh, expectations for other people because, you know, it's up to the other person to, like, figure out things on their own. And most people, they don't really, you know, implement changes in their lives overnight, okay? So it's going to be a very slow, frustrating process But when you're dealing with other people. So as long as you are, you know, just, like, do your thing. Give them advice if you need to, but do your thing. And then they'll heed your advice. So those are the initial messages that I got for you while shuffling. I'm going to go into this spread here. So the first cluster here, we do have the Queen of Swords and the Moon. And uh, one of the things I'm seeing here is that for a lot of you, you are embodying this uh, energy where you are like, people are coming to you with, with they're frazzled and they're stressed out and they're confused. And you're kind of like that voice of reason where you're going to be able to give them like a dose of harsh truth, harsh reality, and it's going to help them cut through the fog, okay? So whatever problems they've been having, um, you're like the, the voice of reason and you're going to be able to tell them, you know, it's not that bad, here's what you do. So once again, like, you know, when they're in the office, everything is like lit up for them. The light bulb goes off and whatever you say makes sense. But in terms of, you know, when they're back at home going through the motions with their everyday chores and life and responsibilities, um, I feel like they, they regress a little bit. So continuing care is something that I feel is um, high on the agenda. Ongoing follow-up, continuing care is something I feel that you're going to have to do for the people that you're interacting with, okay? But overall, I feel like this is the energy that you are embodying. You're bringing about a lot of clarity and a lot of like um, uh, a sense of direction to other people in your midst, mainly because they themselves can't see the forest for the trees. They're, they're too subjective and they can't really make these um you know solid straightforward decisions like they keep seeing I keep seeing this gray area and they don't know how to get themselves out of it so you're bringing about a much needed you know um reality check for others of you who are dealing with this person this air sign person an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra there is going to be I feel like a lot of you um, might be consulting this person for some type of uh, advice. I feel for a lot of you, it might be a therapist. And I feel for some of you, it could be like a lawyer or somebody in the legal profession. But I feel that this is a, a person, male or female, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, uh, in a position of authority. So they, they could be like in the judicial system. They could also be in a governmental system. So there is something here where there's heavy dealings with this person. And um, I feel that they're providing you, they're a good help to you. And they're providing some type of advice that is much needed in your life as well. So, you know, if, if, if this is a situation that is reverse, where they're the one giving you the advice and you don't really have a way to implement it, um, one step at a at a time and I feel like this is uh, somebody whose um, advice is worth gold so you need to you know heat their advice okay now what's coming through in your emotional life we do have the three of cups and the page of pentacles the three of uh, the three of cups is a card about you know social engagement socially dating uh, going out and networking professionally socially or even romantically this is a very very good card and it's a card also about um, judgment like you know feeling as if you belong as a part of a group and feeling as if there is this uh, group mentality so group mentality can be good or bad but overall this is um, indicative of like where you stand where other people stand in in your social environment okay overall it is a very good card that uh, indicates celebratory energies feeling like you fit in and feeling um, accepted it's linked up here with the um, page of pentacles and the page of pentacles usually indicates like um, somebody who is starting out on a new journey okay so this is going to embody you 
and as a page energy it's a very very young energy and um so this is you i i feel that there might be you know some type of attempts in order to broaden your social professional or even romantic networks um i feel that you're you're dealing with with a group of people this month where i feel like your values and their values are just very very different and i feel like it's on a social front and i feel as well that um that what they're valuing that they might be actually a little bit kind of like superficial what they're valuing is not in alignment with with what you value they they might be the types to want to just go out and have fun you know dance the night away and live a little bit irresponsibly they might have a tendency for overindulgence and i feel that you know at, at for many of you at this point in your life you might just um not want to do that anymore you're a little bit more serious minded this month and um for some of you even you know you you might not even want to drink heavily mainly because you might have some family history in your past where you know like some some existing family history where there might be like an alcoholic in the family and you you've seen like the downturn of that and others of you have just read about it so you don't want to get like too um too like you know head deep into like a situation that is not favorable when it comes to how you socialize um the types of people you ally yourself with on a social setting but i do feel that overall um your values are going to be different from the people that you're interacting with on a social level what they're saying as well is try to expand your social network because through your social network you're going to be able to get like a lot of professional contacts that can help you land jobs that can give you good letters of recommendation that can even steer you in the right direction when it comes to financial success okay so social life professional life and things like that try to ally yourself with people that are a little bit more um I guess like um in in tune with where you are professionally because they will provide opportunities for you professionally as well. It's sort of like, you know, expanding your social contact and in the process getting a lot of good professional contacts as well. Um the third cluster here is the 9 of cups as well as the 8 of pentacles. So once again, we have this energy with the cup, the water energy and the earth energy. So the nine of cups is a wish card and um it's also a card about overindulging over um it's a a very very good card overall and especially when it's surrounded by good cards what i'm also feeling here with this um seven of pentacles here is a lot of you might be feeling a little bit closed off when it comes to social contact so you're trying to branch out you're trying to you know um you're trying to i guess like uh, accumulate or even network When it shows up here is as the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a situation where we have invested a lot of our time. There there's like a lot of sunk cost in a situation and we're waiting for it to come to fruition. We're waiting for the situation to change or turn around for the better or we're waiting for the situation to improve somehow. When it shows up with the nine of cups it's basically saying that whatever you have invested a lot a great deal of time and energy in it is going to bear fruit and it is going to come to fruition in a very very emotionally satisfying manner. I apologize for the barking in the background. So whatever you have invested a lot of your time and a lot of work in it is going to bear fruit. So I feel like for those of you who have been working and you know like especially working like um a lot a lot a lot of hours and i feel that um you might have feel felt like a little bit um kind of like downtrodden or a little bit jaded it's sort of like you know what am i really doing like am i am, am i just working for somebody else or am i like going to progress in this current career track that that i'm in and there might have been times in the past and especially sometime this year early the early part of this year where you might have doubts whether or not this is the right thing to do and i feel that you know uh people around you are pushing you 
are, are encouraging you, pushing you, and you're getting a lot of guidance as well. And I feel like this is the month in which things are starting to bear fruit and you're starting to reap the uh, benefits of your uh, hard work, okay? So I feel almost like, you know, with this last cluster here, they're telling you, keep at it. Keep at it because what you're doing is right. And um, with the devil card, the devil is a situ situation that deals with entrapment, especially in this deck. It's sort of like um, somebody put, casting out a net and, you know, uh, putting out a trap and, and you fall into it. It is also about overindulging or having, you know, addiction. So all of these things need to be examined. And I feel for some of you, there is a danger here of um, there are opportunities that are further away for, for, for you. And it's going to help you professionally to allow your career track to flourish. And I feel like you are content where you are right now. So you're not going to, you know, branch out of your comfort zone. And you're, you're clinging on to the status quo. So what they're saying is, I feel like there is a mixed bag here, opposite ends of the extreme, where one group is like, worked really, really, really hard, is on the verge of giving up. And they're telling you not to give up, to, to keep at it. And then the other, the other part is like, um, in a work environment that is safe, that is suitable, has other opportunities elsewhere that might be outside of the geographical location, but is refusing to move on to that new thing, mainly because, you know, uh, of like the, the situation currently right now or surrounding you is a little bit too comfortable, too, uh, safe. And it's like a security blanket and you're clinging on very tightly to it and you're not branching out. So what I feel here in terms of your advice, we do have the King of Pentacles and um, I feel financially this is such a great month for you. We have very, very solid, strong pentacles card. We also have here, um, you know, one of, it, it's sort of like the, the person that knows how to generate money that, um, they're, they're never lacking financial wealth mainly because they know how to generate wealth and they have that, um, the, the business smarts in order to get things off the ground. So I feel this is your embodiment and they're pretty much telling you if you're afraid to branch out of your comfort zone, your, your, your zone of safety because you're clinging on to this current job and there's a new job that might be a little bit outside of your comfort zone. They're telling you to go for it. Okay. Because things are going to be balanced out. Things are going to be worked out. And I also feel for a lot of you, there might be some uh, new contracts being drawn up. Um, for example, sal I do see salary negotiations. I do see you shifting from wherever you are working, uh, shifting into working with like bigger uh, institutions and especially with like governmental institutions and things like that. We do have the justice card as well, which indicates highly, uh, contracts and, and, you know, um, things being sorted out in a manner where it's, um, it's favorable for others of you. You might just be severing ties with the past and, uh, there might be material things, financial reasons, keeping you both together. But I do feel that there's something here that indicates, you know, legal issues regarding family unit, regarding family ties, those things are going to be cleared up. And then financially, you're going to get a very favorable outcome. I keep seeing a very strong lawyer, um, legal counsel vibe with this Queen of Swords, as well as the Justice card. And I feel that it's going to end well for a lot of you because you have some strong things here that indicates, you know, especially if you were dealing with pe with somebody that you might have been married to who had addiction problems who ha might have mild depression they might resort to over drinking in order to cope with their everyday uh, life I do sense that because of it that all of these things are being taken into account when they're dividing up the assets in a legal manner so that you can have a favorable outcome okay and then likewise for those of you who are either doing some type of consulting job and especially looking for work I do feel financial abundance coming through you might link yourself up with a bigger institution in order to do your job more effectively and especially in order to um, do your job in a manner where you're reaching out to a larger crowd, larger audience, okay? Um, I feel for some of you, whoever is doing like uh, either therapy or something like that, social work therapy, I do see an element of um, working with, um, with like substance abuse 
counseling. I feel, you know, helping people overcome addictions, helping people um, overcome like trauma from the past as well. Those career tracks or those, you know, fields specifically come out very, very strongly. I do see as well law enforcement. If you're looking for work and you're, you know, not really sure which direction to go, those would be ideal. Um, working in some type of a law enforcement judicial system and in order to decide like you know um, children foster care things like that so all of those are very very good career tracks and those careers specifically are coming through very strongly in this spread so uh, Capricorns it is a very very career focused type of uh, month I do feel a lot of financial abundance are coming through for you and I do feel a lot of you as well are um, kind of like looking back at your past to extract lessons from the past in order to move on and in order to like redefine your values. I hope that makes sense. So I feel like a lot of you were in a very, very confusing situation where you were dealing with somebody who's like a, almost like a social chameleon. They're very confusing and they gave you like a lot of conflicting information and I feel like you lost your sense of self in that um, interaction and I feel like this is the month in which you know your eyes open up you're getting a lot more clarity and you're able to like redefine what you feel and what you believe in and as a result of it you're not letting you know their energy influence what you think the way you feel and what you know to be your innate core values okay so it's a very very pivotal month and it is also going to be a very good month for you all where things start to get streamlined or stabilized okay in a very good um, I, I guess like satisfying and conclusive manner all right so I'm going to go into your love reading now. Give me just a second to clear this up. So Capricorn. Love and relationships. Capricorn romance, love and relationships. For November. Okay, so <clears throat> let me just go over this card first because um, I wanted to see the overall energy of um, your love life. We do have the Four of Cups and the Four of Cups usually indicates a situation where there are many offers on the table. Um, none of them are like, you know, the, the exact choices that you're looking for. So you're, you're looking at these options and I feel like you have an idea of what you want and you feel that these options are not really panning out the way that you want. Um, in this deck, what it's looking, what it reveals to me is it is somebody who is, you know, looking for love, 
but they are a little bit timid. They're really uh, afraid to take that first step. And they're really kind of like um, scared of getting hurt as well. So you are treading carefully. You are like spending your time analyzing situations and not really, um, not really, you, you know, doing much to budge from your current location, from your current stance. What I'm also feeling is that for a lot of you, there is just, I, I see this anxiety about um, engaging with new people. Okay, so you have suitors around you, but I, I do feel this uh, scared energy about re -engage, about engaging with suitors, not really knowing people's intentions, which is normal, which indicates to me that you are in the dating process, a lot of you, and you are trying to find, you know, trying to see where you stand with other people, and you're trying to gauge other people's intentions. Now, what's coming through in the past, we do have the Five of Coins as well as the Star card. Both of these are very, very positive cards when they appear together. For a lot of you, what I feel is that in the past, financial situation really interfere with your sense of self-worth, okay? Whatever work you were doing, whatever financial status you identify with in the recent past, it affected your self-esteem and I feel almost like um, a lot of you might have been drawn to people who were a little bit more eccentric, who were a little bit more damaged as well and for some reason you might have felt that you were attracting these people and uh, or you might you know get a lot of solicitations from people who are not emotionally all stable and um, so I, I don't feel that a lot of you engage with those people, but you're just like, why am I attracting all these kinds of people? And I feel a lot of it has to do with, you know, your own sense of self-worth, which is also greatly correlated with how much money you are making. And I do sense that uh, you are at this point overcoming this. Your financial situation has been stabilizing I feel like for the past few months, uh, the readings have been very positive for you all, like for the past few months financially and spiritually. So this is a card about um, finding or at least like um, overcoming that sense of, of emotional, spiritual, financial lack in order to see value within ourselves, in order to see value within people. So you are going through a massive period of healing, okay? You're kind of like on center stage. You're kind of in high demand. And you have all these people that are soliciting you, all around you that are soliciting you. They're trying to like coax you out of your cave in order to engage with you on a romantic level. And I feel like, you know, especially for those of you who are newly dating, like single dating, um, you didn't expect, you know, to have such positive reception and such like... Um, you didn't expect to have that many suitors at your disposal, but I feel that, you know, you're you're going ahead with it, okay? And if anything, I feel that it is a month where you might be inundated with a lot of options. Which brings us, so this is in the past, which brings us to the present time. Uh, we have the King of Wands here. This is a really, really positive card. So you have somebody who you are thinking about who is in hot pursuit of you. I feel for a lot of you. Uh, this is a, a fire sign. This can be their sun, moon, or rising. The energy is a, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a um, Leo. This is somebody who's very, very directed. They're very passionate. They're very loving, very caring, and overall a great partner. Um, I do feel like, you know, there's a lot of playful energy um, bouncing back and forth between you and this person. What I'm also feeling as well is this person, they don't really mince words, they don't really waste time, and they don't, um, they're, they're not ones to like, you know, say one thing and mean another. They're pretty, they, they've been around the block. I feel like this is somebody who has accumulated quite a bit of um, experience under their belt, so they understand human nature. They don't really mince words, they don't really like to waste time. So what you see is pretty much what you get with this person. I feel there that you're dealing with somebody who is very, very, very generous, okay? Uh, what's linked up with the uh, king here is the chariot. I feel like as well that um, this is a situation where, you know, naturally you're an earth sign, they're a fire sign. There's going to be a little bit of... Um, conflict when it comes to egos when it comes to that sense of independent independence 
Uh, one person I feel craves a lot more alone time and the other person wants a lot of together time. One person might want like to, um, you know, do one person like I, I feel like your ability, you and this fire sign, um, the things that you do or the things that you want to do to entertain yourselves might be very, very different from one another. One person wants to like stay at home, cook, entertain a few guests. The other person might want to go all out, have an extravagant, you know, go to like an extravagant place. So the, the ways in which you both are spending your money, the ways in which you both are, um, uh, entertaining yourselves or what you find entertaining and enjoyable are very diametrically opposed with one another and um, it still creates a lot of excitement but I feel that um, I, I feel that you just want different things when it comes to these you know like the way you entertain yourselves so one person might be um, sp might be spending very extravagantly and the other person is like trying to curb spending. So I definitely see some values differences, but this is a very, very generous person. What's crowning this reading here is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands indicates, you know, the, the fire energy again, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is um, the, the king and the queen showing up to me indicates that uh, one person is nurturing another person so that the other person can pursue their dreams. So this can play out in you nurturing them so that they can pursue their dreams or they're nurturing you so that they you can pursue your dreams. But this is a very, very good match between two people where two people are, the color schemes look a little bit different. However, I feel like the energy is there's a lot of generosity coming through from this person, from you to them or from them to you. And uh, what I do sense as well is that uh, they see the value in what you're doing. If you're in any type of a nurturing, helping profession, especially, they see the values in you. They do see as well that... Um, I feel like there might be a little bit of jealousy if you're dealing with this person because um, you are devoting a lot of your time to other people, to work, and to nurturing other people as well. So there might be a little bit of jealousy because they feel a little bit neglected. I feel like, you know, when this person comes into the picture, they're like charging straight for you. So you're going to know where you stand with them and they're going to pursue you quite um, aggressively. I do sense that. And so if you're not 100% like devoting your time to them, they might get a little bit jealous. They might get a little bit accusatory. And there might even be, you know, that accusatory energy as well. And um, for some of you, I'm feeling like this person might have lingering attachments with an ex, like via children, or they might be separated, but not entirely divorced. So I do sense some type of lingering attachments here, some jealousy coming through from third parties, but it's not like a, a hindrance. It's more like, you know, just um, little snippets of information that gradually you find out as you get to know one another, okay? The foundation, and the foundation is the situation on which the um, the whole entire thing is built. We have as well the Six of Cups and the Knight of Coins. And what I'm feeling is that I feel this person is pursuing you, right? And if in the past you're just like, I'm not really sure, I'm afraid to get hurt, I'm not really sure like if I'm ready for a relationship. So I feel like you were very, very slow on the uptake when it comes to this offer, right? And I feel as a result, they might have somebody from their past that is coming through. And it might be somebody that they've had a significant relationship with. So I feel like because you were hesitant, they're not really sure where they stand with you. And they had an opportunity from their past, a person from their past coming back in, which throws a little bit of a wrench in the works. So if this sounds familiar to you, I feel that, you know, they're trustworthy. You can go ahead with it and you're going to have actually a lot of success. What I'm also feeling for some is... Um, you have somebody that is like you're very, very sexually, you know, physically attracted to. And it's going to allow an opportunity for a purely very, very physical, gratifying relationship. And you might not, you know, like, um, I feel like it's a great start either way. But I feel that you are hanging on to a situation 
where you want a relationship to be a certain way, you want the the progression to be a certain way, and you're not entertaining the 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 idea of just you know going ahead and pursuing your passion. So a lot of you might be a little bit like um, hesitant, a little bit scared, a little bit like um, you you might be over analyzing this situation because you're just like I want the relationship to be this way I want it to be stable I want it to start out in a very very slow manner so you might be trying to slow down this person's energy even though you really like them and you are immensely attracted to them I feel that you're kind of like not sure so you're 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 forcing them to slow down but I feel that you know with the queen of um pentacles and the Ace of Wands, this basically indicates to me overall that it's a very, very uh, exciting, like um, the beginning of something and it's going to be very good for you. What I'm also feeling as well is um, we have, you know, the we have the King and the Queen here in the suit of fire. We also have as well the Knight of Coins and the Queen of Coins. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people taking relationships to the next level, a lot of people traveling who are coupled up, traveling with a significant other, a spouse, uh, discussing household situations with one another, deciding where to live, where the kids are going to school. So for singles, it's um, pretty much you have many options. There's one person pursuing you very, very uh, strongly. But then for couples, I feel like relationships getting taken to the next level. Um, you might be dealing with um, somebody who's very, very spirited, but they have a tendency to burn out. So you're kind of like, they, they might be a little bit scattered. And um, I feel like you're the one that's keeping them grounded, okay? Or vice versa, you might be a little bit scattered and they're keeping you grounded. So it's a great a dynamic, a lot of, you know, movement, energy, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry here with the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands, I also read it as like a home move as well. One person wants to domesticate and the other person, you know, wants to like um, branch out and explore like other living arrangements, for example. So I feel this is going to be a very, very good month overall in love. The only thing that I feel might be throw a wrench in the works is, you know, exes from the, the partner coming back through. And especially for those of you who are coupled with a uh, an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, if you're dating them or if you are... Um, specifically like um, involved with them. I do see some situations regarding the housing environment. I do see serious discussions between you and another earth sign regarding like options, regarding career, regarding throwing a party, family planning, and things like that coming through. So it's going to be a good month for you all, I believe, Capricorns. I do wish you all the best and take care of yourself. Um, it's November, so I am assuming if you are in the U.S., um, enjoy your Thanksgiving as well. I do see some element here of family get-together, family planning, and family situations coming through as well, okay? Um, it looks good, though, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, okay? So take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the mid-month reading. Bye-bye.